Hello everyone, my name is Shihab Zanjar. I'm working as Cyber Counter Tourism Unit at Cyberpol. At the same time, I'm working as a cyber crime, cyber uh, security trainer in many, many government organizations in uh, GCC countries. Today we are talking about an eye on cyber attacks in Middle region. Here are my social media accounts also. We are giving uh, many uh, advanced uh, special cyber security courses for uh, law enforcement and uh, government entities. What we are doing in Cyberpol, we are an uh, international policy organization. We are supporting the law enforcement and the government entities, which include the military sections and entities. We are giving them uh, supporting like uh, a special courses, a special courses in OSINT, open source intelligence and intelligence field. In the same time, we have a cyber watchdog. Here, I'm focusing on a cyber watchdog. We have a special service. It's a special database. We are collecting the information about the cyber criminals and the cyber criminals' activities and who is supporting the bad guys and the tourism on the internet, like ISS and ISS supporters. We are collecting this information from the cyberspace and we are putting this information inside this database. This database is special, only accessible by the military and government sectors, and a specific government sectors. We are working together, of course, to make the cyberspace a safer web. And what about the members? We are two, 240 members with 760 volunteers. We are working together to protect the internet. Here, the strategic framework is available online. You can get access from this uh, have a link to check the strategic framework, our strategic framework from 2016 to 2017. I'm talking here today an eye on cyber attacks, cyber threats, statistics for the Middle region, the Middle East, Turkey and South Africa. I will talk also about internal threats, employees more dangerous than hackers and the the last subject, how I trained, I will share with you my experience about how I trained 3,600 employees about cybersecurity in less than one year. And it's a message for all the CISOs in the government entities and the military sections and the small or the large organization. First, I will share with you some statistics about the cyber tourism from Cyberpol. It's in Arabic and English. Here, this is the statistics for 2017, January 2017. We closed 16 websites which is promoted to ISS and ISS supporters. We disabled 4,560 Facebook accounts, which is uh, spreading the propaganda of ISS. We disabled also 2,426 Twitter accounts. They are also supporting uh, by uh, publishing a news about ISIS. We have a cooperation with many uh, security teams like Facebook security teams and Twitter. We have a direct communication so we are able to disable any account immediately. At the same time, we disable 46 YouTube channels. And as, as you see, it's available for all the journalists in the, uh, in the special link at the end. And for February 2017, we closed nine websites also, which, which is promoted to ISS and, uh, uh, and criminals. It's not only for the cyber tourism. We disabled also 310 Facebook accounts. And as you see, like the uh, the cyber tourism activity on social social media is increased in 2007, and it's for political issues in Middle East and Middle region. We closed also 209 Telegram accounts. There are most of these guys they are using uh, encrypted uh, applications like Telegram and Secure Chat. 
Claude also nine YouTube videos channels. Here we have a cyber threats activities increase. We see that the cyber threats activity increased in 2017 and 2016. And here the cyber activity in other countries like the South Africa and Turkey, Singapore and Iran. As we see, it's no, no longer, it's increased. And here we have the most affected industries by cyber attacks in the Middle region. We see the, the government sectors, it's included in the other. Government sectors, computer hardware, e-commerce, and the customer software. Here, I know that there's many points, but I'm, I'm focusing on uh, special points here. Metro region, cyber threats, facts. There's a many facts in uh, cyber, cyber uh, security threats in the metro region. Here I'm talking about metro region. We have the UEE is the second biggest target for cyber, for cyber attacks in the world after Saudi Arabia. And because of the financial situation and the financial transaction in UEE, it's very huge. The volume of financial transaction in the UEE and GCC countries, but especially in UEE, it's increased. And some of the reasons why the banks get or are being attacked. And the second important point, it's about the 70.5.4% of users in the metro region encountered cyber attacks or cyber threats. Metro region cyber crimes, usually installations, we have we know that there is many countries in the Middle region and Middle East they are still in the development process of the legislation. Okay, so uh, they are still in the development, the process, and that's why they need to. Uh, uh, let's talk about the other point. Most of the government and the uh, private sectors in the Middle East and Middle region. They are focusing to get certified and in fact international uh, certificates like ISO and NISA and etc. But the problem is they think by implementing these certificates, then these international certificates, they are secured 100 percent But this, this is wrong. They need to implement not only uh, policies and procedures inside the organization, they, they need to implement the education of the employees to prevent internal threats also. Internal threats, employees more dangerous than hackers. Why? Here we are seeing the cyber security internal threats. We saw in the metro region there's like maybe 40% of the organization they are caring about to train the employees internal, inter uh, inside the organization. And this is happened in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait and Bahrain. After the last cyber attacks in Saudi Arabia, now they are focusing to train their employees inside the organization, like government organization and law enforcement organizations. Education is preventation. Why education is preventation? And how I train 3,600 employees in this span one year. I created a new strategy in education or in the information security awareness and I named it a cyber security champions. What is the cyber security champions? Like if you see in the picture, I'm the first one in the middle. I'm the first one in the middle. I'm the cyber security trainer. I choose this is I don't want to mention the, the organization name, but this is implemented by me and a government, uh, a government uh, organization in UEE. I'm in the middle, at the top. I choose one person, one employee, who is interested in cyber security and information security from all the sections and departments. In this organization, we have more than 4,000 employees. I'm responsible to train 4,000 employees 
And I think at that time, how I, I want to uh, how to implement this training in this huge organization. So I implement this strategy. I choose who who is interested in cyber security and information security. I choose to train only one from each department and sections. So it's like the total 18 employees. I train them on how to be a trainer of a trainer, how to be a trainer in cyber security field. So all of them, they became a trainer in cyber security and information security field, and they trained their colleagues in the sections and departments. So I'm only the leader of this strategy. The, the champions in the section, he is responsible to uh, educate his colleague in the section. And the champion of the uh, department, he is also responsible to train his colleague in the department. So after that, how to make sure all the, like this, this picture, for example, we have a section and department in any organization, if it's small or large, and how we can implement this strategy. It's a very effective strategy. Here, for example, we have a sections and departments. We choose one of the employees in sections and the departments, and we train them to be a cybersecurity trainer. And how to track, how to track the, the champions. If they are really uh, giving the trainer uh, the training of the cybersecurity or information security or not. So, we have implemented our LMS. It's a learning management system. Learning management system inside the organization to track the champions and all the employees. And there is a test. Before the training, there is a test, the test one, and after the training, there is a test to make sure, sorry, to know the measurement. If I'm really, I'm, I'm giving the information and in the right side or not. So, in using the LMS learning management system, we are able to communicate with all employees by SMS and emails. And who's if any employees who's not uh, taking the test of the awareness, or he is not passing the the test one or the test two, he will receive an SMS. You need to pass the exam one and two. It's like a reminder. And the reminder, you can get it on his mobile and by email. By going back, how to motivate the employees? Only I, I want to choose only one employee from department and sections and to give them a new responsibilities without any motivation? Of course not. I need to motivate them. How to motivate the employees? By paying grace. I call, call, there's like a communication between me and the HR department in that organization. And we put them a plan to pay raise for the champions and for the employees who passed the exams. And the second thing, and uh, life balance, recognition. We give them a recognition and a promotion. Who, for example, who passed like 90% of the exams they would get a promotion inside the organization and extra annual leave. And many employees in that organization got extra annual leave. And they asked me, they called me in my mobile phones. She had to leave to, 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 uh, to take the awareness session. Why? They need to take it only to get extra annual leave. And this is, it's, it's a, it's a bit, it's good. The elements, it's very important to implement it inside or with this strategy inside the organization. And for me, that's it. Is there any questions? This is my email and my uh, Facebook and Twitter and Telegram. By Telegram, you can, if you see anything uh, or any activities on social media, you can report it to us and we can take an immediate action. Okay, thank you very much.